In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own paper honeycomb ornaments. You can make them out of book pages like I have done, or indeed any kind of paper. They're great, really quick, really easy. I'm Christine of Christine's Crafts, and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make a little template so that we can prepare our honeycomb paper. So all you need is a piece of paper and a ruler, and then you're going to make lines. Now, I'm choosing to make my lines one inch apart. So you'll see at the moment I'm marking the page every two inches. And that's because I'm going to do two different kinds of lines. So every two inches, I am drawing a red line. And I'm going to use these as markers for where I'm going to do my gluing. So all that matters is that your piece of paper is larger than the piece of paper that you're going to use for your honeycomb. And then in between those lines, I'm going to draw some black lines. So you just need to mark exactly in between. So again, these are two inches apart. And you're just going to end up with a stripy page. And that's our template. And then you just need the paper that you're going to make your honeycomb out of. So for me, that's book pages. Place it on your template and then apply glue all the way along one set of lines. So for me, that's the red lines first. And you can see I'm just running it along them. Add your next page. Glue that down when you've got it lined up. And then making sure your paper's in the same place, you're going to go and do exactly the same thing, but using the black lines. So run your glue along. Now you'll see I'm just using an ordinary paper glue stick. You can use any paper glue you like. I just found that was very easy, very little mess. I didn't get it all over the place. And it did hold perfectly well. So once you've done the black ones, you're doing the red ones. And then the black ones. And you'll notice I sometimes peel the edge up because I can't remember which one I've just done. They start to merge together a little bit, but you can always just have a quick peek and make sure you keep alternating red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black until you've got enough pages. I've done 60 and I actually think that was a little too many. So I would say somewhere between 50 and 60 would be a good amount to get your ball out of. And once you've glued them all and you've let it dry, you're ready. You've got honeycomb paper so you can open it up and have a look. So you can already see you've got the honeycomb paper. It's now just a case of making a ball or indeed a different shape if you prefer. But for us, if we're going to make a ball, you want a semicircle of card as a template. Now I just drew around a plate, nothing fancy, and get a semicircle. And then place it onto your big wadge of honeycomb paper and draw around it. Now I'm putting it at the edge here because I want to make sure that when I've cut it out, I can use the rest of this paper. You can use all your honeycomb paper. So we don't need to throw it away. We're not going to just get this one ball, but you can see it's really thick and it's difficult to cut. Now I managed to cut it with scissors, but it was a real struggle. So it's up to you how you think is the best way to cut it. But however you cut it, be very careful. It is tricky. And once I cut it with my scissors, my edge was not perfect. And that might happen to you. So take that away and you can use that for some more spheres. And here we go with this one. Open it up, you can see how it's going to be. But you can also see I've got a lot of bits and edges on that paper. So just tidy it up so that you're happy with it. It depends how rustic you want to be. And then it's time to build it. So do you remember that semicircle? We'll cut another semicircle out inside so you get that arc and make a, a matching one. So you should have two of those now that we're going to use to stick together and they're going on there. However, if you leave it like that, it will stick out. So I recommend that once you've got them there in the same size, you cut some off the outer edge and it will just mean that they're not visible when you've finished. So glue one onto each side of your paper. And then we're going to apply plenty of glue and we're going to glue those two together. Now, I recommend you put that bit of card because it just gives it a bit of stability. And then 
wrap around and press those two edges together. Now you need that glue to dry. So the recommendation here I would give is to put some clips on it. Now I've just used paper clips, boring, ordinary paper clips, but you can see it can be a little bit tricky. And how do you know that? Because I've pulled it to the edge of the screen. I haven't been focused on keeping it on camera for you. And there you go, you've completed a ball. So then it's up to you what you do with it. If you want to hang them, you're going to have to think about a hanger. Now I'm going rustic with a bit of twine, but you could use a bit of ribbon. Put a knot in the end and then glue it to the top. I'm using cool melt glue. You could use hot melt glue. You could use a multi-purpose glue. You just want to make sure it's nice and firm in there. And if it's not and you want to add more glue, feel free. Otherwise, you complete. It's also going to hold the honeycomb together well at the top. It's just adding a bit more stability. But obviously, you don't need to hang them. You might be going to place them in a ball. You might want to make lots of different sized ones. It's entirely up to you. But whatever you decide to do with your honeycomb balls, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed it and found it useful, please give me a thumbs up because that will spread it to more people. And subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. There are lots of great ornaments on here.